Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm really excited to bring you today's video. I am starting yet another new series. This is something that kind of like came to me maybe about a month or so ago. I thought it was a really interesting idea and as far as I know, I don't think anybody else has done this style of video. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I personally haven't seen this, I think. Um, but basically, if you've been subscribed to my channel for a little while, you know that maybe in the last like three to four months, I've really started to move my channel in a slightly different direction. I've been trying to get myself focused on like, what are my values? What do I want to put out there as a beauty influencer? And I definitely feel like I want to take a like, less is more type of approach. I want to kind of focus more on using products I already have, being really mindful about what I'm buying. I've been doing anti-hauls every month, which have been a lot of fun because I feel like as much as I'm a total nerd for beauty, like I love makeup, I love skincare, and I definitely love buying and trying new things. I feel like there's a lot of hype in this world and it's very tempting to want to go and buy and buy and buy and always try new things. And then you never really get to love and appreciate what you have because you're constantly adding new stuff to your collection. And I also think as an influencer, it's really easy to get out of touch with how much things actually cost. Now, I'm a very small channel. I don't get sent thousands of dollars of PR every month. I have a couple brands that send me things, um, but primarily I spend my own money on the products that I have. And I feel like, I don't know, I think, I think people mean well, but I think it's like when you're getting a lot of things for free, it's very easy to want to use and show a whole bunch of products in your tutorials. But if you were someone actually going out and spending all of your own money to buy those products, it can get crazy expensive, which is why I wanted to do this video series. I'm going to call it how much is that face? Um, and I think I'm going to start out today. We're going to be talking about like Sephora Ulta high end products, not like super, super luxury, but kind of like your standard go to Tarte, Benefit, Too Faced, Lorac, etc. like that price range of products. I'm going to be doing a full face makeup look with you guys today so we can actually determine how much it would cost to buy all this makeup just to get a perspective for like how much is it to actually like look like a beauty guru in a way. So we're going to be going full glam, doing line art lashes, the whole nine yards, as if you were going from like A to Z doing a full beauty influencer-esque makeup look. And then we're going to talk about how much all these products are and how, how much that face would be. In the future, I definitely want to do this with like drugstore makeup products. I think I'd like to do one with more like everyday natural makeup instead of like full Instagram glam makeup just so we can get a price comparison and have some sort of perspective on this kind of stuff. Uh, but before I get into things, I just want to say hi and welcome to any of you who are new to my channel. My name is Lauren. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out and chatting beauty with me. I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and then I sometimes do fun vlogs on Saturdays. So if you enjoy more sort of budget conscious beauty and are a makeup nerd and or even if you're someone who is new to makeup i try to make my content very beginner friendly um so if that sounds good to you i hope you'll click that little subscribe button down below that way you'll be kept in the loop whenever i'm uploading new content and in the meantime i am going to scooch you guys closer so we can start putting this makeup on my face much better all right i'm gonna just pull my hair back so we can get down to a business. So for this video, I decided to go through my collection and pick out some of like the most popular products that I own, things that are raved about here on YouTube. These are like cult classic things. So we can kind of together create a makeup look of like very highly rated, very highly recommended products to see how much a face of all this stuff actually will cost us. Now, something I also noticed as I was looking up the prices of all these products on Sephora and Ulta's website, because some of these products are so like popular and they've been around for a long time, there are also mini versions of several of them available. So I'm going to be sharing both the full size and the mini price of each of these products. And I've totaled up both, like if you were to buy everything full sized and if you were to buy everything that is available in a mini, like how much money you could save. So we'll get to all of that at the end. In the meantime, let's get to putting on some of this makeup. So I'm going to start by priming my face with the Benefit Professional Primer. This is obviously a little tiny sample because I currently don't have the full size on hand, 
but this is an extremely popular product. A lot of people love this product. It's been around for freaking ever. It's really great for filling in pores and texture and smoothing out your skin. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this on my fingers and I am going to press this in to the areas around my nose, my forehead, and my chin because that is where I have the largest pores. So the full size version of this product retails for $31, but they also do have a mini size available for $12 if you didn't want to invest in the full size. The next thing we're gonna do is apply foundation. So I'm gonna be using the IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream. This is a personal favorite of mine and I know that a lot of YouTubers absolutely love and rave about this product. It says it's a CC cream, but it has the coverage of a foundation, and so it, I feel like it looks really, really beautiful on the skin, and it definitely covers up imperfections without looking too heavy or cakey. Now, this full-size tube retails for $38, but you can get a mini size for $15, although they do not have the mini in every single shade. So you really would only be able to get the mini, I think, if you are light or medium, which is obviously not a lot of people. So take that as you will. We'll just stick with IT Cosmetics here, and I'm going to apply this with an IT Brushes for Ulta Buffing Brush. I love this one. This was from the holidays last year. And we're just going to buff this bad boy into my skin. Uh, just in case you were wondering, I wear the shade light. For concealer, of course, there is only one thing I could possibly pick for this tutorial, and that's the Tarte Shape Tape. Who hasn't been raving about this? I mean, let's be serious. This thing is all over the internet. I love this concealer. It has been my favorite for probably the last two years now. Pretty much since it launched, it's been my holy grail. And I believe they raised the price on this. So it now is $27. I think it used to be $24 or $25. It definitely did not used to be this expensive, but now it is. And for right now, there is no like mini or smaller version of this. So you have to shell out for the full size, which you can only get um, at Ulta or online at the Tarte Cosmetics website. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this on my under eyes and I'm going to highlight a little bit on my forehead and my chin. Then I'm going to want to set all of my makeup down. This is all pretty luminous and dewy. I have very oily skin, so especially with the IT Cosmetics CC Cream, I need to set it down with powder. So I'm gonna be using my uh, Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. This is a full-size jar. It retails normally for $35, but they do have a mini version available for 14. I also really like the matte version of this. The Perfect Setting Powder is really good for, I feel like, pretty much all skin types, but if you have very oily skin, the matte one is really great, especially to set any oily areas. But right now, this is the one that I have, and this is, I think, the most universally flattering. So I'm just gonna tap a little bit of this out into the lid, and then we will set down the face. So of course, the next step in the average beauty guru routine is to bronze up the face, contour, make everything look nice and chiseled. I'm going to be using the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This is old packaging. This thing is ancient, to be honest. I probably should get a new one. But I digress. This is a $30 bronzer. Now, the Milk Chocolate Soleil does not come in a mini size, but the original Chocolate Soleil does. And it's only, let's see, 15 Yes. $15 if you want to get to the mini size of the Chocolate Solo Bronzer. This is like a cult classic product. It smells like cocoa because it's infused with real cocoa powder and it's a beautiful matte bronzer. I really like the milk chocolate one for my skin tone. In the summer when I'm very tan, the chocolate soleil looks nice, but for year round, the milk chocolate is perfect for my sort of slightly lighter complexion. Moving on to blush, this is an OG favorite. This is like old school YouTube beauty guru classic product, which I don't even own in full size. This was a 100 point perk that I got at Sephora, but I feel like we, you know, the effect will be the same nevertheless. This is the uh, NARS Orgasm Blush. It is a really beautiful peachy pink shade. This is one of those cult classic, everybody loves it. A lot of other beauty brands have tried to copy or take their own sort of like spin on this shade because it's really universally flattering and beautiful. So we are just going to apply a little bit of this to our cheeks. And this does have just like a tiny bit of shimmer in it, so it adds like a really nice healthy glow to the skin. Now obviously I got this little mini as a point perk. It doesn't look like they are for sale anywhere on the NARS website, but the full version of this is $30 if you wanted to purchase it. 
And of course, this next step is like the thing if you are a beauty influencer that like you must be obsessed with and is like everyone's obsession right now, and that's highlighting. So I'm gonna be using what is probably one of the most popular highlighters out there on the market, hands down, period, and that is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. Now I have the shade Prosecco Pop, which is a really beautiful gold color, which looks nice on my sort of more warm yellow undertone complexion, but there are a lot of really beautiful shades of this highlighter formula. Now, the full size of these highlighters retail for $38. $38! That is an expensive freaking highlighter. Granted, it's absolutely gorgeous and the formula is beautiful. There's a reason everybody loves these, but they're pricey. There are many size versions of these highlighters available. They are $19, but they don't come in all the shades. I know like Prosecco Pop, there's not a mini of, neither is Champagne Pop, but I think like Opal and Moonstone do have mini sizes available. So depending on the shade you want, you may be able to get the mini sized version. So we're just gonna take a little bit of this up on our cheekbones and add that glow. So let's move on to eyebrows, which would be the next step in the typical full glam makeup routine. I'm going to be using my Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof Brow Pencil because this is my personal favorite. It's $21, which is the same as the Anastasia Brow Wiz, which I would say is probably one of the most popular brow pencils on the market. I just, my right brow Wiz ran out, so I don't have one to show you guys, but they do cost the same amount of money. Now, I'm not going to set my brows down with a brow gel, but that is an extra potential expense you could insert here if you're someone that wanted to slick their eyebrows into place and make sure they don't get all wonky and to go crazy. We're just going to leave mine right now the way that they are, but just throwing that out there, that is an extra thing you may or may not want to invest in. Next, we're going to move on to eye primer. So we're going to be using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. This is a sample that I have. The full size retails for $20. I did not see a mini version available for purchase on Sephora or Ulta, but a lot of times you get these kind of primer samples in like gift sets and things. I'm just gonna take this up on the lids. So for eyeshadow, I'm gonna be using my Lorac Pro 3 palette. Now I wouldn't necessarily call this palette itself a cult classic, but I would say like that the pro line of palettes really is. The original Lorac Pro palette has been something revered in the beauty community for years. It's like a great staple basic if you're new to makeup palette because it kind of can meet all your needs. The Pro 3 one is actually really nice. This one is a little bit more warm toned. It's kind of more up my alley, which is why I decided to invest in this one over the original Pro palette, but all three cost the same amount of money. So I figured for the purpose of this video and the Pro pricing. Any of the Lorac Pro palettes kind of fits right in here. This retails for $44. Now I should say it does come with a sample of the Lorac eyeshadow primer. So I actually, I don't have mine anymore. That thing got used up a long time ago. Um, but you could save some money not investing in a separate eyeshadow primer if you use the one that comes with this. It's just, you know, it's a little sample, so it's not going to last forever. So I think what I'm going to do with this palette is kind of come up with a very soft sort of everyday glam kind of look using these neutral shades. All right, so you've got some nice soft glam eyeshadow. I'm not gonna add on glitter or any like extra special additionally pricey products because that may or may not be sort of everyone's cup of tea. This is more like an everyday glam tutorial. So we're gonna move on to eyeliner. Now I did pick one pencil liner for this look. I know I could have picked a separate like felt tip liner or gel pot liner and a pencil because some people do choose to use both. For the sake of simplicity, we're gonna choose one today. So just know that if you are someone that normally like lines their inner rim with a pencil and does a wing, that this cost might go up for you if you need to buy two products. So I'm gonna be using the Marc Jacobs Highliner Matte Gel Eye Crayons. These are fantastic. These are something that a lot of YouTubers rave about because they are very smudge proof once they dry down. They're very pigmented, they're matte, they're really creamy and easy to apply. They're just like very like top-notch eyeliner. So I have the shade here called Irony, which is like a really dark brown. It's a little bit less harsh to me than black. I think it looks really nice for daytime. These retail for $25 a piece. I also appreciate that they're a twist-up eye pencil. They're just so easy to use. So I'm gonna just smudge a little bit of this right along my upper lash line. And I'm gonna take like a little pencil brush and while it is still creamy, we're just gonna buff it and smoke it out a little bit. 
Then we're going to move on to mascara. Now this product has been very hyped in the beauty community lately. A lot of people talk about how amazing this mascara is. I do really like it. I think that it is pretty nice. I got this at Gen Beauty, I believe, so I did not have to pay anything for it myself. But if I was to buy it, this mascara retails for $25. It's the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. This is like a very dramatic false lash effect, very volumizing type of mascara. They do have a mini version available of this though for $12 if you didn't want to spend the money on the full size. So I'm just gonna curl up my lashes and throw on some mascara. Now honestly, most days I would probably just leave my eyes like this. I'm someone that typically just wears mascara. I love false lashes, I think they're a lot of fun, but I definitely do not wear them on like an everyday basis. I'll wear them for filming or special events on uh, occasion. But for the sake of this tutorial and this video, because I think a lot of YouTubers do wear false lashes and do use them in their tutorials and it does sort of like add the finishing touch on their looks, we're going to apply some today. So because I'm super extra, I keep my lashes in this Tarte Lash Binder. Um, I just find it's easier to store them all for me. So these are my lashes. We're going to be using these ones right here, which are from Pure Cosmetics. They are their bombshell lashes because a lot of my lashes are drugstore and some of them are super expensive. So I'm not going to go for like the $30 velour lashes because I think that you can still find like a nice mid-range pair of lashes. I think that makes sense for the look that we're creating and the vibe we're going for. So the Pure Cosmetics lashes retail for $14. So let me pop these bad boys on. All right, lashes are on. So now all we have left is lips. So I'm going to start out in true beauty blogger fashion and I'm going to be lining my lips with a lip liner. This is a step I skip often on every day. Uh, we're going to be using the Huda Beauty Lip Contour Pencil in the shade Muse. This is actually a really beautiful lip liner. I actually do really, really like it a lot. It's a really pretty like nude shade and this retails for $19. Now for lipstick, I thought it would be very appropriate for this look to use a liquid lipstick because that is a very, very popular trend. Lots and lots of beauty gurus and beauty YouTubers and Instagrammers use liquid lipsticks in their tutorials. That matte, really pigmented, beautiful look. Now one brand that I think kind of was at the beginning of the liquid lipstick trend, they've been around forever, is Ofra. And they are not the most expensive liquid lipsticks out there for sure. These retail for $17 and you can now get them at Ulta, which is great. So I feel like you could definitely go higher if you have some other brands in your collection, but this is a really, really popular one. So I'm going to be using the shade Tuscany. We'll just apply this quickly to the lips. Now, you could just leave the lips like this, but another really popular trend within the beauty community right now is to add on some type of a gloss or a lip topper on top of your look. So I decided to pull out another like cult classic product to share with you guys, which is the Jouer Skinny Dip Lip Topper. This, especially for the holidays, adds just like a really beautiful glitzy gold sheen to the lips. It looks stunning on tops of all different kinds of shades, and this retails for $16. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of the lip topper and we're just gonna apply it to the center of the lip just to add a little extra fullness and shine. This smells like cake, it's freaking delicious. And then of course, as a good beauty guru would do, we're gonna lock down this makeup with some setting spray. I'm going to be using the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray because this is kind of like the OG setting spray. Everybody in the beauty community has probably seen this, heard of this, or used this at some point in their life. Now this is the travel size uh, bottle. The mini version like this retails for $15. The full size version retails for 30. Nope, I lied, retails for 32. So $32 for the full size, 15 for the mini. So here you go guys, this is my completed makeup look. I think it came out very pretty, sort of like a soft glam, like it's not crazy with glitter and bold colors, but it definitely is more than like, I'm going to the grocery store to pick up dinner for tonight kind of makeup. Although I probably will be running errands in this makeup, like no shade to anyone who wants to wear full glam running errands, cause I've definitely done it many times in my life. But if you are thinking like realistically, how much time do I have to do my makeup in the morning before I go to work, which might be like all of 10 minutes, this is probably not what you will be going for. If you can, that's awesome. But 
you know what I mean. This is like special occasion. I want to take my time and go extra glam makeup. Which brings us to the final question. How much is this face? How, how much does it actually cost to make your makeup look like this? So the grand total of all the products used in this tutorial, if you were to purchase them all in the full size versions, is $462. Now $462 is no small amount of money, especially when you consider the fact that we only have one shade of lipstick and one shade of lip liner and one eyeshadow palette because you all know most people like to have options so they probably are going to have more than one shade of some of these products. I also did tell you throughout the video that there were a few steps that some people add to their routine so if you add brow gel or you use multiple eyeliners the cost of this tutorial might actually go up for you. I did also mention that there were mini size versions of a lot of these products available. So if you were to purchase all of the products that had a mini size available in the mini size instead of the full size, you would only spend $335, which saves you 127 bucks, which is something, but you know, $335 is also still a lot of money to do one makeup look. Now I kind of also looked through the products and realistically speaking, I think with certain things it actually is more cost effective to buy a full size because like with foundation and setting spray, powder, concealer, etc. Like I feel like you're gonna go through them more quickly. Like I actually will use up a full foundation, I will use up a full concealer, I'll use up brow pencils, and like mascara you need to throw away every three months. So really, in terms of what products I would actually recommend buying in the mini size because I think it's more cost effective, makes more sense, I would say the highlighter, spending $19 instead of $38, that is a definite because whoever is going to go through this much highlighter, like even if I use this every single day to hit pan on this highlighter, I feel like it will take me a century because a little bit goes such a long way and I mean really, like that is a big pan. So I would say you could save yourself some money and get the mini size of the highlighter and that will probably still last you the entire year. I also would recommend getting the mini size of the mascara because you throw your mascara away every three months if you want it to stay sanitary and I feel like the mini size versions are perfect for that. I never use a full tube of mascara before it goes bad. There's always product left. So I would say save yourself the money and get yourself the mini size of the mascara. Everything else though, I feel like it makes sense to buy in full size. So that would bring the price down to $430. Save yourself 32 bucks getting those two products in mini. But again, $430, that's still, that's still kind of a lot of money. That's enough to hit VIB Rouge status at Sephora or Platinum status at Ulta. Granted, not all of these products you can buy at just one of those locations, like Lorac, you can only get at Ulta, but you know what I mean. Something else to note, I did not include the cost of tools in this video, and that is an additional extra expense. Brushes, you can get really nice affordable ones for without spending an arm and a leg, but they still cost money. So odds are, you know, you make the investment in brushes, you get some good ones that last you several years, so that's not necessarily something you have to continually purchase, but it is an additional cost if you're looking to just start up building your makeup collection. So I know I mentioned at the beginning of this video that I'm not someone that gets a ton of PR. I have a budget. I'm a normal person living a normal life. So you may be wondering why the heck I spent that much money on makeup or how the heck I afforded to do that. And something I want to note to you guys, and this is something I also would like to do more of in the new year, is that I almost never, ever, ever pay full price for my makeup. I use coupons, I wait for sales, I use my Ulta points, I buy like gift sets so I can get like a bunch of different products at a reduced price. There are so many ways to shop savvy for your makeup. You pretty much almost never need to pay full price for anything if you're patient. Like unless you make the choice because you can't wait, you really really need that product or you ran out of your brow pencil and like you're gonna go crazy if you don't have something to do your brows. Like I get it, things happen. But if you shop smart, if you plan, if you use coupons, take advantage of sales and all kinds of good stuff, you can definitely get your makeup at such a more affordable price. And that's really how I've managed to afford blogging. I redeem my like 
credit card reward points for Sephora gift cards. I use Ebates. I use my Ulta points. And like, yes, I do get sent a few things here and there for free. But most of the makeup that I have, I've bought by Shopping Savvy. So I definitely plan on sharing more of those tips with you guys in the future. But in the meantime, I thought doing this was kind of fun just to get some perspective on how much makeup actually costs. Because it's one thing to talk about one $20 product here, one $30 product there. When you think about all of it on your face and just one look and one tutorial, it's kind of a lot. So I definitely, like I said before, want to do this again with drugstore products, maybe do more of a natural makeup look and see how much that costs. If that sounds interesting to you guys, please give this video a thumbs up and let me know that you enjoyed it and you want me to make more videos in this series. If you have any ideas of like makeup looks you'd like to see me price out, let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear your feedback and your thoughts. And again, if you're not already subscribed and you want to see more videos from this series and other things that I'm doing on my channel, make sure you click that button before you go so that way you don't miss out on any of my future content. And in the meantime, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and for doing this little beauty experiment. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're celebrating, I hope you have a wonderful holiday weekend and I will see you in Monday's video. Bye.